The first over-the-counter birth control pill will be sold in stores in all 50 states starting this month. One month supply will cost 20 bucks. The hormone-based contraceptive O-Pill received FDA approval for over-the-counter sales last year. The pill itself has been prescribed to patients for more than 50 years, but now patients will no longer need a prescription or even an ID since there's no age restriction to purchase O-Pill. The expanded access to birth control is seen as a victory by reproductive rights groups. The founder of Youth Reproductive Equity says this is historic and transformative for reproductive rights without having to go to a physician, which presents a barrier to many people. There is another reproductive drug hitting pharmacies this month, this one more controversial, the Mifepristone abortion pill. The U.S. Supreme Court will hear arguments this month and make a ruling in June determining how accessible Mifepristone can be. But until the high court's ruling, CVS and Walgreens will start filling prescriptions for the abortion pill, following current FDA guidelines that could change depending on how the high court rules. Both CVS and Walgreens say Mifepristone will only be sold at select pharmacies in states where abortion laws allow it, which is about half of the U.S. Coming up on two years since Roe v. Wade was overturned, there have been many court battles over abortion pills and procedures. Since the power to regulate abortion was returned to the states, the current landscape is 21 states have some sort of abortion restrictions through at least 18 weeks, and 26 states have legally protected abortions through at least 22 weeks. The other three states have abortion bans that have been blocked in courts. Wyoming is one of those states, having its abortion ban blocked by a judge. But the state legislature is passing legislation to still regulate the procedure at the state's last remaining legal abortion clinic. A bill recently passed in the Wyoming House and Senate is likely to be signed into law this month. The bill requires abortion clinics to be licensed as surgical centers. Doctors performing the abortion must be licensed and have admitting privileges at a hospital within a 10-mile radius of the surgical center. It also requires the woman to have an ultrasound 48 hours before an abortion. An ultrasound would give the woman her safest options to proceed with the abortion, whether by pill or procedure. Wyoming is the latest example of how abortion laws are still being worked through in a post-Roe presidential election year.